Hey, it's Nicole uh, from the Myofascial Self-Care video course online. And I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, why I created this course and also why I think um, self-love is really an important aspect of this course and why I hate before and after pictures. Basically, when I started this myofascial journey, um, I had lost a lot of weight, which I felt like was a really big accomplishment for me at the time. And let's see, that was probably about six years ago now. Um, I had lost over 50 pounds and I used to carry a picture of me when I was 50 pounds heavier and I used to tell my story about how I lost 50 pounds and I'd show my picture. Um, of when I was heavier to people. And um, I was proud of that, but there was also sort of like this disdain or um, dislike for this person in the picture too. Um, but I didn't really realize that at the time I was too excited about the fact that I was no longer that person. Um, and I would show it to everyone seeing, see, I'm no longer this person who is 50 pounds overweight. I'm this new person now. I'm this better person. And so I did that for a while. And then, you know, going through this myofascial training, um, you start looking at your belief systems and you start sort of peeling away the different layers of belief systems about yourself, about who you think you are, about what really matters. Um, and at the end of the day, really, it's about love through the, the course of the um, six years, I ended up going through a lot of different life experiences and um, being this uh, lighter or skinnier person um, didn't really matter as much anymore. And I'm going to be honest, it was a lot of work. Uh, that just wasn't really my natural shape, my natural body. And I was starving myself. I was working out so much that I, it was one of the reasons that my back really started hurting me and I couldn't even move anymore. I started getting a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger again and that really scared me for a while. Um, and then I realized that through the work and through myofascial release, um, I would have unwindings where I would sort of like touch parts of my body and almost give myself compassion. I also dated somebody at the time who was really instrumental in helping me see how beautiful that I was. Um, coupling that with myofascial release and with these belief systems that women get particularly, but men too, sadly, that you're only loved if you're this certain size, um, that you're better if you lose weight or if you're skinny or if you're whatever it is that we're trying to be. You let me know what that is because I think the goalpost keeps moving. But it's uh, it's ridiculous. It's asinine. And I started really digging that apart a little bit and looking at that and thinking about all these people I really admire in life and what they look like and what their size is. And they weren't necessarily like looking like Barbie or perfect in any way, shape, or form. And then I started kind of looking at myself in a different light and realizing that um, I don't have to be small or a certain size to be loved by somebody else or to be friends with people or to be cool or fit in or be in a camera. You know, I, I look back now um, and I think about that picture in my mind, which I actually threw that picture out. Um, and the reason that I threw it out was that I realized that what I was doing is I was rejecting a part of myself. I was rejecting a part of myself that actually needed even more love. That person that I saw in the picture, it wasn't just the um, external. That person was sad. That person needed help. She needed more love. She needed for me to accept her, for me to love who she was no matter what the heck she looked like. And once I realized sort of what I had been doing, I didn't need to carry around those pictures anymore. And 
I just, I threw out the picture, not because of what I look like in the picture, but because of the fact that what I had been doing with the picture was sort of rejecting myself over and over again. And so throwing away the picture almost symbolized to me that I'm not going to do that anymore. That it doesn't matter what the heck I look like on the outside. It matters what I feel like on the inside. And now I feel really good. And I love who I am. And every day I get to learn a little bit more about myself and who I am. And I can love it even more. Now, I am not perfect by any means, but what I'm learning now is the parts of me that maybe I don't like so much or embarrass me or, you know, I regret choices I've made that I've regretted doing. I can take a a look at those parts of me and realize that I'm just doing the best I can and it's okay. It's not a big deal. I don't have to be perfect because there's no such thing. It's totally made up in our mind what perfect is. It just really is about what it is in our heart that makes us feel good about ourselves. What was the best decision at the time with the information that we had? And then we go from there and we take it easy. We be easier on ourselves. I just, I listen to some of my friends talk or um, family talk about themselves, about their bodies, or about the choices that they've made. And it makes me sad now because I realize that, first of all, I used to talk about myself in that way, but second of all, we don't have to. You know, here we are and we're inside of our head all day long, and instead of trying to like be our own cheerleaders, where we could be in there like, eh, 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 why'd you do that? Why'd you do it this way? Why'd you do it this way? What's wrong with you? And it's like, oh my gosh, life's hard enough. We don't have to make it worse. So that's really why I don't like before and after pictures because I love me before, I love me now, and I love me in the future. And Now, when I look at before and after pictures of girls on Facebook or guys on Facebook, I don't say, ooh, look at how awful that person looked and how great that person looked. I don't even see the difference anymore. It just seems silly in my mind. So I hope that this helps you to take a look at your own self and realize that you're beautiful all the time.